Lucas doesn't know you and your sister apart. Lucas kissed your sister thinking it was you. Welcome back to your channel. If you guys are new here, smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that notification button because we post three videos every single week. So this week we're actually gonna post three videos and I'm super excited. There's so many commented like, mm, that Arnold like posted, yay, consistency. I unfollow people who aren't consistent. I'm like, ooh. We consistently post. We just hope consistently post three videos. True. <laughs> Alright, so right now it is pouring outside. I feel like it's like the hurricane times two, but it's not. Today we're gonna do part two of our assumptions mm -hmm. video. There was a lot of good questions, so I was like, okay, we gotta keep it going. Yeah, there was people that were like, mine didn't get answered last time, so I'm not gonna answer this time. I'm like, oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry. I saw that too. <laughs> it's hard when there's like 200 comments. It's hard. Yeah, it is. All right, where's my phone? Uh, your phone is next to you, right there. All right, so we're just pulling up. Let's just yeah. jump right into it. I know you guys are like, oh girl, you're looking, your hair looking good. Yes, my girl, my vet, did my hair for the wedding. Oh, someone did say like, uh, why'd you so early? The wedding is in mm -hmm. like 10 days, 10 right? days, nine days, but there's a lot of in between. So I gotta get my dress alterated. There, we have this photo shoot. We have the bachelorette party. We have the rehearsal. So there's a lot of events going on before the wedding. So I was like, I gotta look good for those events. You feel me? Okay. You look amazing, by the way. Like, whoo. Thank you. Well, I can't. I, I keep staring at you. It's I don't know. It's bad. It's not mm -hmm. bad. I'm your husband, but I keep staring. <laughs> really? You make me blush right here. Hold up. <laughs> really good. I do. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I guess. Are you uh, ready? Okay. Let's see. All right. So the first assumption is I assume that Rachel is a wild sleeper. Am I? No. I don't think so. <laughs> but the thing is, like, when we sleep together. We're apart, so I don't even know if you know if I'm a wild sleeper. So I don't think so. I think Josiah is a wild sleeper. Josiah is a wild sleeper. <laughs> Ooh, can you hear the thunder? I wonder if they can hear that. My assumption is that Rachel is really nice in person. I also think that Rachel's father is either shy or just doesn't like to be in the camera. I love you guys. We love you too. Um, actually, oh yeah, am I a nice person? You're a very nice person. Yeah. Insanely nice. In person, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my dad, we had a lot of dad questions. Um, mm -hmm. My dad actually lives in Fort Lauderdale. That's why, one of the reasons why he's never in videos. And also, um, he doesn't visit either. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna send him this video so he can visit. Janice says, Rachel is the dominant one in the relationship. This is not a bad thing either, just an assumption made by observing the dynamics on YouTube. Hmm, what do you think? So, Rachel is definitely not dominating at all. I say honestly, we have like a very good 50-50 relationship as far as making big decisions, mm -hmm. talking about things. Mm -hmm. um, I think they might get that assumption just because you're the main one that talks and that's right. just because I'm more reserved. Yeah. So sometimes Rachel has to be like, come on, you can say stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to say anything? And I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> but I got a lot better. When we first started YouTube, I literally would just sit there like this. And not even look at the camera, it was just <laughs> the video that we never posted. <laughs> we should post our very first vlog that we just never posted and yeah. do a reaction to it. You guys will laugh, like Lucas is just like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, he, but he's right, um, we edit out the parts, but a lot of times I'm like, do you have something else to say? Do you have something to say? Mm -hmm. He's just like, no. Yeah, so, but I'm getting, I'm trying, I'm getting better. Yeah, you got a lot better. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> So yeah, like Lucas said, like when it comes to like finances, mm -hmm. like big stuff, Lucas is actually in charge of that stuff, and I'm in charge of the little, you know, the the the, the detail stuff. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, so. a lot of the kids stuff with like mm -hmm. the education. So like I'll help out, but like she does the brunt of that, like right. research and so. Yeah, we I research that stuff. Lucas researches the big stuff, and mm -hmm. then we come together with like the day to day stuff. Right. So Enid says. I assume you guys want another baby. However, you're too busy with all the social media and getting your health back in place, though that is fine now, but you want to get your body back as it was before and able to carry another child. I know we answered the baby questions a lot, so, mm. but you guys a lot, like all of you guys had the same question, but yeah. yeah, you're right. And we are really busy, but that the social media part isn't the reason why we wouldn't have another baby. Honestly, it's, it's like you said, it's my health. Mm -hmm. And man, I didn't realize how good I look before. I just want to look good for like a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, can you look in that camera right now? Look at you. Oh, you know you. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I you hate that you. smile. Ooh, that smile. Look at that. What <laughs> if like editing back to something in my teeth? But right. Yeah. <laughs> D says, I assume you don't like makeup. You really have great features, and only a little makeup would make a world of a difference. Uh, well, 
It's funny, all before my wedding, I really didn't wear makeup at all. Yeah. And then like, someone in the Mac store showed me how to wear makeup, and that's when I started wearing it a lot more. But yes, I prefer not to wear makeup. I really only wear makeup when filming, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. And you really don't need it. No, oh, thank you, baby. Rose says, I assume that Lucas is the better cook. What do you think? I don't know about this one. No, bro, I'll be throwing it down. What you mean? I'll be Becca, like, Becca be Wait, knocking out, bro. Okay. You, so, all right. Nah. But we have to, we would have to put our signature dishes up against each other. What's your signature dish, my dude? Steak. Ooh. Mm, my steak, corn, steak, sweet yeah, potato. Five, five, five. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. All right. When it comes to your grill stuff, you be throwing it down. You, True. Yeah, you right, you right. You yeah. right. We, we good. We, but, we even. But you're not going to lie. With her stew beef, oh, that is like, I'm melting the chair. Level. Yeah, so, good. oh, man. That's, I that's will a say tough one. it's a tough one. I say we each have our specialties, but you you be throwing it down. So Kay Swenson says, Hi fam, not holding back or being shy. Assumption, if your sexual relationship is on point with your family dynamic, I'm jealous. If it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> that must be high, girl. <laughs> Our family, I feel like our family dynamics are pretty pretty on point. That's what I'm saying. Like, if it's the same as that, then woo! <laughs> I'm saying, like, I think I think we could bring it, you know, like, I'm talking about like two, three times a day. Some, some, I mean, if it was, yeah, you're right. It would be like 5,000 times. Maybe when Josiah goes to daycare, we have more free time. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> <laughs> I assume that you're risk takers and the love you extend to one another makes it impossible to not to deny defeat. You're definitely close-knit with your family, yet you don't diminish one another's contribution to the relationship when it's laid on the table. And then they said, the, the kids are awesome. Kids surely makes life a wonderful accent to carry on your courage, intelligence, love, faith for a lifetime. For risk taker wise, I would say we, so like with, I would say like starting YouTube, starting things like that was, was a risk mm -hmm. or like we put ourselves out there. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as like scary stuff goes, like parasailing, skydiving, we're not like risk takers in that sense. I, I will say we're risk takers in the sense of like life. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely got more bold with decisions and like, okay, mm -hmm. like investing. We're like, we're right. more like, okay, let's do this, do this, do this. Right. Um, like Lucas said, with YouTube and stuff, we've been like taking a plunge more and taking more risk with stuff right. like that business wise. But yeah. starting a podcast, stuff like mm -hmm. that. We're starting a podcast. <laughs> David says, Good morning, family. This is Sarah from Virginia. Love, respect, fun family. Rachel, hats off to you as a beautiful mother and hubby, so much like my hubby. Anything for his family, but most of all, love. And I wouldn't trade my hubby for anything. Keep loving each other and family. God bless. Stay safe. Thank you. Deborah says, are you guys best friends? You have to be to be as cool and still so very much in love. I love the way you guys are and keep it real. I laugh when I watch you guys. You have a smooth connection that makes other people feel better. Oh, oh, thank you. That was really sweet. What do you think? Yeah, we're best friends, honestly. Mm -hmm. We are. Yeah. It's funny because I didn't think about like, you know, some people are like, oh, they never work with the, your person and mm -hmm. we just love working with each other. Yeah. So Blue Jazz Wave said, I assume Rachel misses going to work. I actually do. I'm going to start back next month. I just love what I do. I love doing therapy. But in the meantime, this with this year off, I've been doing therapy with other people's kids. <laughs> That's true. So I've been still working, and my own kid, just I have been like implementing a lot of my <laughs> strategies and skills. So Nandy says, I assume Lucas doesn't work, but only babysits the baby because all the time he is seen doing baby stuff or holding the baby. <laughs> We got this comment a lot, like, why is Lucas always holding Josiah? <laughs> Lucas always holding. So no, I do work actually, and I think when we're on camera, I normally hold him because he gets really He's heavy. He's so heavy. Yeah, and we and I hold him when we're on camera because if not, he would literally just be running away, and I right. have to go chase him. So right. we, we hold him, talk to you guys, and then we also film a lot while he naps. So <laughs> right, that's true. That's why it, is, it seems that way, but it's not. Someone's like, I'm surprised Josiah walked early because you guys always holding him, but like Lucas like said, like. If we put him down, we'll just be chasing him versus mm -hmm. filming. Filming, and you gotta remember, you guys see like five minutes <laughs> yeah. or like ten minutes of it, you know. Right. So if the other times he's, we're just like running, literally running around outside, inside, in the pool. Yep. Like we're doing a bunch of stuff that we don't film. Yep. Tech boss says assumption. I wish I had one so you guys could read mine in the next video. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> we just read it. <laughs> Ooh, that's oh, a good okay. one. So, Rigi says, assumption, Lucas's family is secretly racist. Oh. Baby. 
<laughs> Actually, no, it's completely the opposite. Heard this from the truth. Mm -hmm. My family was super welcoming, arms open. Like I, you guys saw the vlog where we surprised them. Mm -hmm. I think everyone was hugging, crying, and, and like to Rachel. Like everyone was like, "Oh, hey, Lucas, you're here too." <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, my parents right now are actually in Fort Lauderdale helping Rachel's mom like pressure clean the house. Mm -hmm. Like Lucas said, they messaged me, they text me, mm -hmm. like his aunt Nancy just called you. Called me. <laughs> She's like, oh Lucas, you're there. Hi. Like, All right, bye. Tell Lucas I said hi. I'm like, he's right here, you know. <laughs> so Kelly says, I assume you don't talk about God much on your channel, so you won't offend other people's religious beliefs. No, I just, I mean. Honestly, if people are offended if we talk about God, then they could just go to another channel. So that's definitely not it. It's kind of like you want you want to show people that like you believe in God and you love God. A lot of people like I assume that you guys are Christian just by the way that you live. Right. We do love God. Yes. And we talk about it. We don't mind talking about right. it. Right. Yeah. So Dorsey says most of your interactions seem rehearsed or maybe non-realistic. Hmm. That's interesting. That is. I would like to see because uh, a lot of people say that that we seem like genuine on camera and like natural. Mm -hmm. So I, I would like to see why she thinks that. Well, probably I would. I could see how because like if it does, it's probably because of the fact that you're talk. One, we're introverts, mm -hmm. and two, we're talking to a camera. So when you're talking to a camera, it's it's very um, awkward. That's what we said in the last video that we're a lot more loving and cuts kissy kissy in real life versus the camera mm -hmm. because like it's kind of awkward. Yeah. So when if you see, when we'll post our first vlog, you will you will see oh. how really like oh yeah it's like not easy vlogging if mm -hmm. that makes sense. It gets we have to get, like get used to it, you know. Especially in public, like the yeah. first time you ever vlog like in a Walmart or something in a crowd of people, it mm -hmm. is weird. So that's where it seems rehearsed. We don't rehearse what we say. Yeah. You can repeat what you say. You can. Yeah. But um. Yeah, it's not rehearsed. Yeah, it's not rehearsed. That would take way too much time to rehearse our whole day. And mm -hmm. then like, we're like, we're gonna redo today, tomorrow, because we just rehearsed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sharon says, my previous assumption was never addressed, so I'll pass this time. Aww. Aww. I answered her back on there and said, well, if you remember it, I'll say it this time. She's like, I can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Next assumption is, Lucas is in love with your sister. Some people are weird. That is there. the weirdest. That's a reach. Someone said, that's a reach, love. Uh, um. Yeah. Okay, you answer that. Yeah, that's completely like the worst assumption I've ever heard so far. Uh, she, I actually think of her like a sister. Right. So that'd be even weirder. But that's that's gross that people think that way. Yeah, I remember this, this reason why. Like you know that we did a confusion with Lillian, and the reason why we never did it with Lucas or like tried it because people were being so weird. Like, mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. pick the husband did it. I was like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. It was that's weird. some kind of weird thing that people have in their head. Mm -hmm. Carolyn says, if you had a choice, you wouldn't go back to work, stay home, take care of the baby, and have things ready for husband when he comes home. But you want to help husband with income. Actually. Social media now, you know, thank you so much guys. It's actually our, the main bread of our income. Mm -hmm. um, Lucas does work because, and this is why I wanna go to work too, because I don't want social media to be my identity. Mm -hmm. And the same for Lucas, he doesn't, like we love PT, we love right. speech. So we don't want it to be our identity. His income is nice, but the income he's, he's getting isn't necessary. Does that make sense? Like right. it's more just to help people. Right. Do PT. Yeah, uh, that's kind of like we went to school for these professions for a mm -hmm. long time, and if we don't keep that skill up and practice it, you lose it. You you'll lose your licensure. You you know. Right. And it's just you don't get that kind of satisfaction of you know fulfilling your purpose. If right. That makes sense. Right. Because that's that was our main purpose. Like right. social media, well, it just fell into our lap. It wasn't something that we like strived to do. Right. So like Lucas said, that, those were our passions. Mm -hmm. And I do miss going to work, actually. Mm -hmm. I always said, like, I, I, I enjoyed staying home with Josiah, but my calling isn't to be a stay-at-home mom. My calling is to be a working mom. Right. Um, we actually do work from home, doing social mm -hmm. media. Right. So. Yeah, so you're a working stay-at-home mom, so it's like I am a double mom. time. Right. <laughs> but I, I do want to go back. Yes. Even though we don't need to go back. Like, we make enough to be satisfied. But right. I, I need. I need to do speech. I need to get out the house. I need decide to interact with other kids. I need, like, we need to have our, like, you know, our time. Yeah. Pretty says, I assume that you guys are very rich. What do you think? No. 
We're, we're definitely not very rich. I'd say we, we have enough to live on, live a comfortable life, and then we have a you know we have some to invest. I guess it depends what rich means to people. True. Like Luca said, we have enough to buy whatever we want, have enough to travel, have enough to right. invest, have enough. So two right. people that could be rich, right. but we're not rich. Like we have millions of dollars. You know right. what I'm saying? I wouldn't even say before YouTube, and we make a way more money. Mm -hmm. on YouTube that we did before. Yeah. And I will say before, we made good money. I guess I don't know what rich means to you. Comment down below, what is rich to you? But I would still call us frugal people. Like we're not we're not splurging and spending on, on stuff we don't need or, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, but if we, but we want could. to do something, we, we do it. We do it. We don't like worry about money. Right. Yeah. So Chris says, I assume you're a happy family. Lucas doesn't know you and your sister apart. Lucas kissed your sister thinking it was you. We, and honestly, I could literally tell them apart, like, no matter what. They can't fool me even if they tried. We actually did a video mm -hmm. where it was like, you know, what was it, what was that one called? The blindfold, like, yeah. which one's which, blindfolded, right? right? We did do that. Yeah, and so, like, it's super easy to tell them apart, so that would, that would never happen. Oh, just I'm gonna go yeah. get them. I'm gonna go get them. Find the next one. <laughs> All right, next one is, do you wanna keep reading, or? Uh, you can do one if you want. All right. The next one is, I think Rachel is too controlling. She wears the pants in relationship. I think we answered that. I actually don't wear the pants. I want to say we both wear the pants in relationship. But as I said, I assume that we will never see your children interact with Rachel's father because they definitely do with their mother and Luca's parents. And even if he's camera shy, you don't talk about him often. Maybe I should make a video. You know, I didn't even, I guess it's complicated. I guess it's complicated. And I, I don't really, you're right. You're right. A lot of people are asking, and I think it's because um, after the family interaction with Lucas, a lot of people are like, wait a minute. <laughs> We're meeting everybody else but Rachel's dad. And um, yeah, I don't know. Hi, Bubbas. Hi, Bubba. <laughs> he wakes up a little groggy sometimes. <laughs> so, and he's in the camera. He's in the camera. <laughs> I'm talking about, like they're saying, I, I, I don't think the kid will ever interact with Rachel's father. I suck when it comes to communication too. And so does he. So it's kind of hard for us, like when your day is so busy, at the end of the day, you're like, eh, didn't talk that day. No. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't talked to him in a month. In college, we're really bad with it. We're even our parents. So we're like, Lucas' mom and dad were like, that mom was like, come on, I haven't talked to you guys in three weeks. Like, what's going on? So now we're doing a lot better with even talking with our other parents. But you're right. I need yeah. to do better with. Maybe I should like move, like go down there and introduce you guys to my dad. Comment down below if you'd like to meet him. I know we keep talking about the birthday party because mm. obviously it's coming up, so we want to keep talking about it. Anyone who hasn't watched one video, watch this one. So we're gonna have a birthday party for Josiah. First birthday, don't cry, Rachel. <laughs> don't cry, you have makeup on. We're gonna put the link to the actual event in the description. We try to add people on the event, but it's like messing up. So if you would like to join us celebrating Josiah's birthday, and also Lillian's too, we could like throw Lillian in a little bit, you know? You're gonna put the actual event in the description. Yeah, so Facebook wasn't allowing me to actually send invites to the event. Yes, so yes, if you yes, click yes. on the link, if you're a friend of ours on that, on that Facebook page that we created, Rachel and Lucas, then you'll be able to join the event if you're a friend. If not, just friend me, I'll accept you, and then you can join the event. It'll be at the very top of the description box, so go check that out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share the video. We are crazily close to 300,000 subscribers, so if you know someone that you think would enjoy our videos, and that would like to subscribe and follow us, you know, send them our videos. Like, send them your favorite video of ours and see if they would like to subscribe. If not, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, you can say bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. 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 Bye.